Hey Polish peeps, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Y'all, it is hot. I am taking a break from my office to film this uh, wish list video for you guys. And it is hot today. <laughs> I was like, um, I'm gonna try to keep from turning my air on because I'm trying to reduce background noise. There's a lot of noise coming in from the outside. So I hope that's not too bothersome for you guys in this video. But y'all, I'm about to break a sweat. Like I got my moon roof open here. Is this a moon roof or a sun roof? I don't know the difference. It's an open window up here. Anyway, it's open. Um, I might need to, let me just roll down some windows. I'm trying to reduce the amount of noise coming in here, but y'all, it's hot. Ooh, and I'm wearing this sweater because it, you know, Louisiana weather is stupid. It's just stupid. It's relatively cold in the morning and then by noon, it's like burning up. So I don't really understand what's going on. But anyway, let's talk about some polishes. So it is that time to make your wish list for Polish Pickup March. Um, and the theme this month is Maker's Choice, y'all. I could literally have all the polishes on my list, but I had to narrow it down. There has to be a narrowing down process here. I'm telling you guys, the struggle is real. It is very, very, very difficult to make these decisions as to what to have in my wish list, what to not have in my wish list, especially when I want all the polishes. And if you guys don't already know, if you're joining me for the first time, I'm about to get married, so I can't be buying all the polishes. Um, I did relatively well last PPU. Um, I think I got two polishes and one miscellaneous item, some earrings, I think. Um, so I didn't do too bad. But I promise you, I have seen swatches of polishes that I missed and I already have regrets. So I'm trying not to have regrets. I obviously do not need the polish, but oh my gosh, y'all, it's so pretty. So let me start off and show you guys just some honorable mentions. Um, because I can't go, you know, on without mentioning them. Um, things that I was drawn to for this polish pickup. Um, I am drawn to the, um, what do you call it? The reflective glitters. I'm drawn to those. I'm drawn to uh, magnetic polishes. So here's one, and it looks like it has, it's a magnetic and it has reflective glitters. So you're getting me right there in my feels. But this is, I'm not going to talk about it too much because it's an honorable mention, you guys. We're going to roll with them. we got to roll past these. But Penelope Lou's My Man Have Two Jobs. I guess that's what, it, that's what it's saying. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. I mean, really, seriously. I'm all about this. Like, what? I'm hoping the lighting is not too weird for you guys in here because, um... You know we just roll with what we roll with but y'all holy crap like what I don't even know I don't even know there's a beautiful like blue shimmer in here too um, that's gorgeous um, let's see what else more honorable mentions um, let's see I'm drawn to some um, uh, what do you call it what do you call it what do you call it God, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> this is a solar polish from MJ Lacquer called Purple Rain. I have another polish called Purple Rain, but it is not a solar polish. But y'all, so this is it, solarized, <laughs> as if that's a word. I hope you guys can see this lighting is not the best. Um, and here it is, not solarized. <laughs> it's a beautiful purple. You guys, purple is my jam. Mm. Solarize it turns to a blue mm, Y'all so so pretty Um, let's see what else honorable mentions um This one, you know, I don't know like I'm I'm not even gonna put that on honorable mention category I'm gonna put that on the wish list category because that's gorgeous this one by garden path lacquers It just has an amazing formula, but it's kind of like a um, what do you call this blue? like a denim blue maybe um it says teal maybe i'm not looking at it right it does look teal now in these pictures but this looks like it has an amazing formula of course it doesn't look teal to y'all because the lighting but look how gorgeous that is that's so pretty um i'm just drawn to this formula it does look teal right now in this one in this picture 
I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to change this lighting for y'all because this is not working. That's not going to help either. Hold on a second. I might have to close my my little window here to give us a little bit more um, less reflection. I don't know if that helped any. Not really. So, you know what? I'm just going to be hot because that really did not help at all. <laughs> um, anyway, we're just going to roll with it, you guys, because I know you guys can go and look at these yourselves and see um, what I'm seeing. This one from Danglefoot Nail Polish, Purple People Eater. Another gorgeous magnetic with reflective glitters. Mm, Y'all. <sighs> I don't even know. It's 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 the purple and the reflective glitters for me. Like, wow. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay. I think that's all of my honorable mentions. Let me back up just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to start talking about the polishes that I have on my wish list, y'all. i got to narrow this down to like maybe two, three tops. And we're going to do it. We're going to get there. I say that, but normally I do not. But we're going to say that we are going to do it. At the top of the list, well, not at the top of the list because these are just randomly thrown in here the way that they get thrown in here when, um, oh, y'all, it's hot. Hold on, y'all. I can't. I'm about to die. Um. You know when you pick them they don't there's no order it's just random so this is wildflower lacquer rainbows are visions oh y'all this is chock full of flakies it is described as a dusty sapphire blue jelly base with red to gold to green shifting shimmer blue purple pink crystal flakes and a variety of ucc flakes and a subtle linear hollow y'all this is just gorgeous it reminds me of everything a rainbow should look like on your nails it is just all the colors in that till base you can't even really tell it's a till base because there's so many different color flakies in there um i always 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 want wildflower lacquers polishes there's hardly ever a time when i don't i won't say there never is but it's very rare when i don't get a wildflower lacquer polish from um from polish pickup and so i'm kind of thinking this is probably going to be again one of those times um when i can't pass it up but she she did have a super low cap on this one and she was able to raise the cap to 600 um and it's priced at 13.50 so if you don't have a wildflower lacquer polish now oh, there's a motorcycle sorry <laughs> if you don't have a wildflower lacquer polish and you have never tried one before now it might be the opportunity to do that it's gorgeous 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 formulas they're just amazing um next is sassy cats lacquer radiate boundless love this one's priced at 13 dollars, and it is described as a intentionally sheer white tinted base with turquoise green metallic flakes aurora shimmer shifting blue green gold purple Plus gold flaky shifting from blue, green, purple, and scattered reflective glitter. Y'all, there's a whole lot going on in this polish. But it doesn't really look like there's so much going on in the polish. It just looks like so pretty on the nails. I think it's the fact that it um, has the intentionally sheer base makes it so that you can also use this one as a topper if you want. But look how pretty those glitters are. That is so pretty. Um, here, here's a picture of it over white and over black so yeah it is multi multi-purpose polish here you guys really smooth nice formula on this one really pretty i like the way that one looks a lot so that is sassy cats lacquer radiate boundless love for 13 dollars um i also have y'all i don't even know what this is like what is this <laughs> this is it would be now that people decide to traverse this road. This isn't a very popular road, y'all. It's, it's really not. But for some reason, now, 5 million people want to pass. Anyway, we're going to keep going. Polish for Days, Believe in Magic. Um, this one is priced at $13. And this is so pretty, y'all. I don't even know what, what is happening in this. It's just like 
I don't even know. <laughs> like, what, what is this? I saw another video by my friend Joe, and she was like, what is this sorcery? I agree, totally. It is described as a black jelly base with blue and purple shifting iridescent flakes and a gold reflective glitter. Um, there's no cap on this one. But y'all, I'm not even sure. I think it's the gold reflected glitter that's getting me because you can't really see that gold reflect, um, reflected glitter you know, without the flash on, but even without seeing the gold reflective glitter, it is gorgeous, y'all. This is so pretty. I love how the flakies are laying in this black jelly base, and then when you hit it with, with you know, with some light or, I guess, flash, camera flash, um, or under different lighting, when that gold pops through, like, you would think that the gold would be sort of, like, I don't know, like not match that blue base, but it is gorgeous y'all it is so pretty look here's another picture where you can see that gold popping through oh my gosh so pretty i'm in love with this one i'm in love will i get it i don't know <laughs> but it is gorgeous um so again that is no no cap on that one i guess i didn't tell y'all it's inspired by disney by the disneyland castle during the winter time and that is Polish for Days Believe in Magic for $13. Um, let's see. I also have this one from Night Owl Lacquer. Lacquer <clears throat> excuse me. Among the Stars. Um, Y'all, this one's so pretty. I really feel like a lot of makers are wanting to do the reflective glitters now. Which I love. Don't get me wrong. I love the reflective glitters. But I just don't want them to get played out like everyone's gonna be like okay enough with the reflective glitters okay we get it <laughs> like I don't want us to get to that point so I appreciate the makers that are doing something else in addition to reflective glitters like not just all reflective um, I really like the way that looks on the nail and this one is a clear base filled with silver reflective glitter and multi-chrome flakes that shift sapphire indigo violet burgundy and red there's no cap on this one and it is priced at $13 but y'all this is yes don't get me wrong there's a lot of reflective glitter but this blue popping through oh my god y'all can y'all are y'all seeing that blue those blue flakies are just gorgeous and they're like blue and purple and they're just like they're getting me y'all they're really getting me um I don't even know if y'all are going to be able to tell that those are purple um flakies glitters flaky glitters <laughs> popping through on there um i'm not sure if you can tell and there's those red there's like those red glitters popping through i keep saying popping through because that's what's happening <laughs> those are so pretty too oh my gosh y'all i am all about this polish um i really feel like you know when you add a little bit of something extra with the reflective glitters it definitely draws me in more because it draws it draws more attention to the nails so that people notice your nails like in different lighting and not just when the reflective glitters are popping um which i think is important if you're going to wear reflective polish you know like it's got to be doing something else this one's definitely doing something else so pretty not all lacquer among the stars priced at 13 dollars y'all these cars are about to drive me nuts i'm about to find another location um nailed it moonbeam is another gorgeous flaky bomb it's described as a dark cobalt blue base packed with copper, gold, green, and pink, violet, gold, crystal flakies, and a touch of hollow flakies. So many flakies, y'all. It's got a lot going on. It's just really beautiful. Price at three, no, um, capped at 300. Price at $13. And y'all, it is just flaky goodness on the nails. Look at that. All of those flakies popping through. So pretty. I love the base in this one too. Um, it is kind of... How do they describe that base? Cobalt blue. It reminds me of like a denim blue, but I guess cobalt... We, we'll go with cobalt. <laughs> cobalt works too. Y'all, seriously, I'm about to find another place because too much action over here. Hold, please. Okay. It's this time of day, too. I'm not even sure if this is going to be any better, but we're going to try it. Um, okay, so we were getting past Nailed It Moonbeam, priced at $13. Y'all, this is a new brand for me. Um, Lumen. 
Is it lumen? Is it? It's got to be lumen. I don't know if it's lumen or lumen. <laughs> lumen sounds better. We're gonna go with lumen. Diamond tide. This looks like a freaking amazing formula. Again, reflective glitters. It is a bright pink polish, glowing with magenta, gold, and pink. Shifting shimmer, saturated with reflective glitter. Um, priced at thirteen dollars. Which isn't bad. There will be five hundred available. 16 milliliter bottle. I didn't get to tell you guys much about polish pickup, but I'll put I'll put all that information below in the description box in case you're new to polish pickup. But I do always like to try a new brand when I have the opportunity, and this will be a new brand to me. And this looks amazing. Y'all look how pretty that is. So this is what I mean kind of by like there being a little something extra than the reflective glitters. Like this just has a gorgeous pink bright a gorgeous pink base but those reflective glitters are still popping through which is just so pretty um, let's see here's another here's a picture of it in the bottle oh, look how gorgeous that is I love that so that is lumen I'm gonna go with lumen diamond tie priced at $13 um, and there is a cap of 500 now there's some people coming out into the <laughs> parking lot no, we can't win. I don't... It's just the time of day. I don't even know. Note to self, do not come out here this time of day again. <laughs> now they're whistling in the parking lot. Um, wow. There's Oh, there's people on the ceiling. That's, that's nice. Hmm. Anyway, I digress. Let's continue. KB Shimmer beats you to it. I have seen this one swatched. Um, my friend Josephine swatched this one. I think she did. And let me see if I can find her swatch. Is her swatch in here? I don't see her swatch in here. Or maybe that's it. That kind of does look like hers. Um, but this one is described as, again, of course, reflective. Um, a bold blue reflective shade filled with color shifting shimmer. It says, in lower lighting, turquoise and strong green shimmer come out to play, while in more direct light, a sky blue base is accented by a gold and lime shimmer. I love that these polishes look different in different lighting. Um, I think it feels like, you know, you can be here and have this polish and then go over here and have a completely different polish. Like at least to the person that's looking at your nails, they're like, oh look, you have a different polish than you had on <laughs> yesterday or whatever and it can literally be the same polish, which I think is very cool. Um, here is where you can see a little bit more of that reflective glitter. I I think this is this base is just gorgeous. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the price. Price at eleven dollars. There's no cap on this one. So KB Shimmer is also a really, um, I guess, I don't want to say what's the word infamous brand for me to purchase from for polish pickup. Um, Always amazing formulas. I never have any issues with formula or anything like that on these um, KB Shimmer polishes that I've purchased in the past. So, definitely highly recommend. I'm trying not to do the highly recommend thing because I'd be highly recommending every polish on my wish list. So, we're just going to say it one time. I highly recommend all of these polishes that <laughs> I'm going through on my wish list. This is Hearts and Promises, Bring on Spring. This will be another new brand to me. And this is so cute, you guys. Priced at $13. It is described as a light gray magnetic curly polish that leans light blue. It's sprinkled with silver reflective glitter as well as assorted neon flakes and glitters. Um, this is really cute. The only thing that I don't really see too much of is the magnetic pull. It doesn't seem to be like extremely oh but it does it glows in the dark so that's cute um it doesn't seem to to have like a really strong magnetic pull matter of fact i'm not even sure if y'all will be able to see it it just draws kind of like a little um silver line across the nail um so, so it has like a very delicate magnetic pull but I like the base. I like the base a lot. And those little um, like neon glitters that come out to play, so fun for springtime. 
so that's a possibility maybe not this time maybe I'll try hearts and promises um, uh, for another PPU there's 300 bottles of this available um, priced at $13 but that'd be a new new brand to try it looks really fun glistening glow and with the skies y'all it's purple <laughs> it's gorgeous um, I have a hard time passing up purple polishes all the time this one's priced at $13 and it is described as an amethyst purple polish loaded with a blend of reflective pigment under low lighting a darker amethyst shade shines through with reflective sparkle under bright light or with the use of flash the reflective sparkle morphs into a vibrant lighter amethyst shade um, and there's no cap I mean there's not really much I can say about this glistening glow you've heard me say this speech five million times the lighting is a little better over here <laughs> um, their formulas are just amazing um, I say that about a lot of different brands but this is just one that I happen to swatch for on occasion and um, they almost always have really good formulas so if you're looking for a y'all so pretty grape colored is this, she says amethyst I don't know I mean I guess it's amethyst it's just purple and I don't care any <laughs> of the purples but look how pretty that that color purple is um oh wow it's just pretty and those reflective glitters of course have me had me at hello gorgeous so another one to consider um if you want a purple reflective um glitter polish for 13 dollars no cap let's see um the only i guess odd one i i would consider for me because i don't really do yellows too much or greens I'm feeling like I need to do greens because it's it's March, you know, it's St. Patty's month, and so I'm feeling like I need to do some green polishes, which I'm not, um, you know, out of my colors in my collection, greens like at the bottom of the list, but this one's really pretty and it's ethereal, one of my favorite brands, um, and they were not um, a part of Polish Pickup for a while. She dropped out for a while, but now she's back. And she's back with this gorgeous polish, Ethereal Luna Moth, priced at $13. Is a spring green jelly base with red to gold and green shifting Aurora Shimmer mixed in. It's the Aurora Shimmer for me, and also there's no reflective glitter, y'all. Like what? <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I love me some Aurora Shimmer. Um, you know, and it really doesn't matter too much the base um, with that Aurora Shimmer popping through. I don't know why. I'm just drawn to it. Um, this does look a little sheer on the nail, so I would probably have to wear it with a blurring base coat because, y'all, my my visible nail line is it's ridiculous. I mean, it is literally an act of God to cover it up. I generally can still see it with three coats of any, I mean, just about any polish unless it's like super, super dark. Um, so yeah, that's a very difficult thing for me, including the polish that I'm wearing now. Like this is a white polish and you can definitely see my nail line. Like it's just there. It just, it's just, it's like always trying to make an appearance. It has no time to hide or just like be in the background or anything. It's just like out there, <laughs> like all the time. I've come to get used to it and it doesn't bother me too much, but you know, if you don't like that, you may want to consider sk skipping this one. Um, you know, if you are one of those people that just cannot stand to have your nail line showing, I feel like you're definitely going to have some of that in this polish because it's pretty sheer. But there's no cap on it, and it's priced at $13. And Ethereal, <sighs> amazing formula. It's like so good. Um, Crystal Knockout Astrology Owl. This one's just really cute to me. I actually probably could have put this on my honorable mention, but it's just very unique. Like, I have nothing like this in my collection. Nothing that even comes close. Um, it's described as a bright pink to pale pink thermal with matte navy stars, baby blue dots, and periwinkle and bright blue hex glitters. Um, it looks like it, you know, those, the glitters come out pretty evenly across the nail. Of course, in these photos, these are some long nails even these are long but I like the transition um, I like the colors it transitions to here's some 
some shorter nails. I love this glitter combination. That's super cute. Again, like I said, I don't have anything like it in my collection. Um, and they look like they come out pretty densely on the nails. So this one's definitely intriguing to me. Only because I really don't have anything like this in my collection. So that's really cute. I don't know why. I'm just like, hmm. That's one of the things that I'm trying to limit myself to is really just only picking up polishes that number one I don't have in my collection and number two aren't likely to just be duplicated over and over again um, and this is probably one of those looks like a really good formula too so maybe I'll try it I only have maybe one or two other crystal knockout polishes that I picked up by you know coincidence or whatever in polish pickup but um, this one's intriguing so we'll see there's no cap on this one, and it's priced at $11. Let um, me see. Then I have um, Cupcake Polish. Again, y'all, it's purple. Different shade of purple. Um, it's more like a... How, it's a periwinkle, I guess, is what they describe it on here. A periwinkle nail polish packed with reflective glitter and a tiny bit of holographic glitter for extra sparkle. It's definitely sparkling, bling bling, y'all. It's definitely bling blinging. <laughs> I really like this color purple too. But again, if y'all have been watching me for a while, then you already know. And if you are watching me for the first time, y'all, purple is my jam. I love me some purple. Give me all the purple. This, I mean, it's cupcake polish. Again, I swatch for cupcake polish on occasion and they always have amazing formulas as well. I'm getting a bunch of notifications coming across my phone that I'm trying to <laughs> keep y'all from having to witness happening on my phone, but look how pretty that is. Oh gosh. Love the reflective glitters. This one also looks like those glitters, you know, don't really pop through too much unless it's under certain lighting, but oh man, when it does, they just take over. Okay, so that's Cupcake Polish, Very Perry, priced at $13.00 no cap I also have caddy lacquer alloy I think it's alloy I think that's how you say it of course I'm drawn to this one because it's green I said I need to do st. Patty's Day green um, polishes and of course by the time I get this it will not be March anymore so I mean I can still wear this for spring though this is a spring polish so it's described as a dark green when cold to green when warm to light green when hot tri-thermal with matte red glitter y'all this is so cute I have found myself buying Cadillacer um, almost every polish pickup like for the past few months just because I've been in love with everything they've been coming out with look how pretty that is y'all if I'm gonna do a green polish at least let it transition to three different color greens like look how pretty that is and my nails have actually been staying pretty long so I've been you know enjoying some um, the opportunity to wear a thermal where it transitions actually on my nails instead of just staying in one color or the other color um, so I'm excited about this I even like the dark um, when it's is that like I think it's the it gets that dark when it's warm or hot so cute I love this I love this a lot this might be at the top of my list for <laughs> this month's PPU look how cute that is in love really like that a lot so that's caddy lacquer alloy 1350 again another amazing brand blah 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 no cap <laughs> um mm, i love that a lot um i also have bluebird lacquer font oh front and centaur um i may be able to skip this one maybe but this formula that bluebird lacquer does they do it so well price at 1250 no cap it is a bright cobalt blue shattered hollow I don't know how she does it y'all but I don't I don't know all of these different colors that she comes out in this formula um, or I guess I guess I should say that she comes out with in this formula they're just gorgeous so pretty amazing amazing formula that she just does she knocks it out of the park every time she does it so well and I've gotten several different colors. There's still 
so many different colors I could get in this formula and I would be so happy to do that. <sighs> do I think that it cannot be replicated? No. But do I think that someone can replicate it as well as she does? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, someone could try. Might get close. But it's so good. She just does it so well. So this is Bluebird Lacquer Front End Centaur for $12.50 with no cap. And lastly, I have Bees Knees Lacquer Valaris. Um, Y'all, this is a black to blue to purple multi-chrome with gold light reflective glitter. Um, she recommends a glitter top coat for maximum sparkle or two coats of regular glossy top coat. Y'all, Bees Knees Lacquer has been killing it too with these multi-chromes with the reflective glitter. It's like there's just enough reflective glitter to give this polish just a little bit of extra whatever it needs like whatever that is it needs like she nails it and it is so pretty oh my gosh look at that that reflective glitter is like perfection on top of this multi-chrome and she is killing it this formula doing it so well I've picked up um, a couple of other polishes that she's done like this, you know, the multi-chrome base with the reflective glitters, and they are just really amazing formulas. So, if you have not tried one of these from Bees Knees Lacquer, I do recommend it. Bees Knees Lacquer, I think, last I heard, was going out of business. So, she's going out with a bang, y'all. She's just coming out with all of these amazing polishes. She is killing it with collection after collection after collection. I mean, not little collections either, like large collections. Um, so if you don't try her for PPU, you should definitely try some of her polishes. Um, you know, just go onto her website when she has a release and pick some polishes, specifically <laughs> shooting for these multi-chromes with these reflective glitters, because they are gorgeous, y'all. So pretty. Um, so that's Bees Knee Slacker Valaris. Um, uh, priced at $13 with no cap. That's all I have, you guys. That is it for my wish list for March. 32 minutes. Not too bad. I'm usually at 45 minutes. I, you know, I think it helped that I did the honorable mention thing instead of just including those in my wish list, which I typically would have done, and then it would have been 45 minutes to an hour for my wish list video. I'm trying to cut it down for you guys just a little bit. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video despite all of the distractions. So sorry about that. I will try to consider that next time I do this. But, you guys, my time is limited. I really just have to try and get in here when I can. And I love filming for you guys. But it's just so hard. Life is always interfering with my fun. I don't know why, but it happens. So, if you enjoyed this video, um, please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up. Um, hit the notification bell so you can see when I post videos. Um, I would love, love, love to have you continue to watch my videos and continue to join me and um, again I will post information about polish pickup in the description box um, if you have any questions feel free to ask me I don't always have all the answers but if I don't have the answers I will find them for you um, yes I guess that's it so um, I love 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 you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video bye